Hello, Brooke Owen Selection Committee. My name is Morgan Irons, and I am a fourth year student here at Duke University. I'm also the founder and chief science officer of the company Deep Space Ecology. I'm currently in the Duke Research Greenhouses, where I am conducting an experiment on the development of pretreatments for the growth and survival of crops under Mars regolith conditions. This experiment is based off of research I've been doing for the past two years on the development of closed ecological systems for space habitation. Now, I'm about to take you into the experiment space, and be forewarned, it does get a bit loud in here. Let's go. So, this is the experiment. It consists of 132 pots, 12 of those pots being Earth conditions, the rest being Mars regolith simulant conditions. And the Mars regolith simulant I am using was donated to me by SIAR Industries out in Napa, California. So, thank you SIAR Industries for doing that. I'm also working with a variety of plant species, which includes Sonora wheat, golden peas, broccoli, French sorrel, and rapeseed. I'm also working with two species of microorganisms, and those include rhizobium bacteria and mycorrhizal fungi. The pretreatments I'm using for this experiment include a water pretreatment and tilling combination, biosolid application, microbial inoculums, um, vegetative litter presence, as well as different plant combinations. And so, I've been doing this experiment since late May, so I've culminated a lot of hours being in this greenhouse. But as you can see, the plants are doing well, and I plan on ending this phase of the experiment in about three weeks, and then continuing the next phases in January. And so, pretty much how I came about doing this experiment and doing my research was because I was trying to find a way to connect my passions for environmental science with space exploration, which was another one of my passions. And I found that the best way to do that was through researching and doing work on closed ecological systems. And so what I've learned through this process of starting an experiment and even starting my own business is not only that, but pretty much how to be proactive and how to engage myself in my work, even when I'm the only person doing space research at my university. The experiences and challenges I have had to face only make it more clear to me that I intend to be part of the first CES established on Mars. So thank you very much for this opportunity.